Welcome to the building of a home for the train costume figure. I had an okay idea for the figure, which was a playroom. But I was thinking how to include all the festive figures, you see, all the past series, because I want to include them in. So I thought to make an acting diagram for all the figures. So the, that is what we are going to do. This is a perfect design in my opinion because this co- because the colors for the new train piece are red and green. Some of the most common Christmas colors are red and green. The train house will have rails to be put on as an acting car. The colors immediately reminds me of Christmas with this. Let's design the diorama. I finished the exterior, so it's going to be easy to design the interior, but I want to give it a lot of thought and interest and just not throw it together easily because we're doing this for seven figures and it needs to look good. So, this is the start of the second floor. I didn't include the elevator in this design because I want it to run smoothly and not get stuck on anything or be damaged if I have to move it. So it'll just be attached to the base plate of the first floor. This is going to be separate. Only three figures are going on the floor. Maybe rehome one, but should be fun. So I hope you stick around for it. And let's go design the interior. Hi, and welcome to the second floor. I have one building out of three, if that gives you an idea of what we'll be building on the second floor. This one runs for the train kid. It was going to be a festive one, since most of his colors on the thing are festive. This is the only figure I got a duplicate of, which is strange, because it is the heaviest one in the set. So, I was surprised by that. So, so far, we just have this one, but I have an idea for two more. And that will be the detective and the dinosaur costume one. I like how this one turned out. I have all the six festive characters from series 23 in it. It's standing in the back as like a photo drop. But this is actually an acting diorama. And then for the actual train kit, because he, this was his home. I made him little tiny train tracks out of like small one by one tiles. So I put those down and made it so that he was on there and he was kind of like drive, driving across it so it looked like something's happening. I have this really cool idea of what I could transform this current mock into. I may just do that as a whole separate video when I'm done and transform this into a modular and making the working elevator. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this project. I can't really show you the interior because everything is going to start like falling out. So I think for the next video, I'm going to do the museum because that seems like the one that would be the best to do. But then for the hallway so you can access each room, I'm gonna still make a hallway so you can access it. So the museum is gonna be the largest room because I have so many good ideas for it. So I'll see you then. See ya.